Okay, welcome back. This is part 11 of my How to Build a Community Site tutorial series. And in the last part, what we did is we pretty much logged the users, or not logged the users, we pretty much created the users and uh, inserted all their info into the database. But, whoa, um, but what we need to do now is we need to create our, uh, our activation email to send the email to the user so they can activate their account. So I'm going to create a couple of variables. I'm going to say subject equals, and I'm going to leave it blank for now. Um, I'm going to say message equals, and leave it blank. Whoops. And then I'm going to say headers equals, leave it blank. And I'm going to come up here and say um, webmaster equals. Okay, so we have these four variables created right here. Now our first variable, which is webmaster, that is going to be your email that this email we're sending so people can activate their account. Um, this is what the email is going to be from. Now mine is going to be admin at basicnick.com. So get, that's going to be the email this is, that, that this is going to be sent from. So it's kind of self-explanatory. Um, now the subject, um, this like I'm, the reason I'm putting these into variables is so you can easily change what these are going to be for yourself. Um, the subject I'm going to say activate your account. Uh, yeah, I guess. Um, the message I'm actually going to swap order with the headers. Now the headers we're just going to put from colon. Now this from must be a capital F and then have a colon after it and then the space isn't really required but but yeah um, and we're gonna put in whoops we're gonna put in uh, greater than and less than signs going front to back like we're gonna put in some HTML code um, but inside of here we want to put our webmaster variable and then before all of that we want to put a name now this could this is gonna be the name um, <coughs> for your website or whatever uh, this is like it's pretty much who it's going to be from so it could be like from John at admin at basic Nick uh, John admin at basic Nick dot com so I'm just going to say Nick for me now you want to put that as your name or actually I'm just going to say basic Nick uh, so that's going to be who it's from now the message here is what the content of your uh, activation email is going to contain. Now, uh, I'm going to pause the video and sort of put in my own little message. And really, this can be anything you want, uh, but I will explain the things that you must must have in order for this to work. So I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so this is sort of just a, a short and simple, nice little email. It just says hello, and then the user's first name, whatever they entered. Um, and welcome to basicnick.com. Below is a link for you to activate your account on basicnick.com. And then we have uh, backslash n, backslash n, backslash n. So that's pretty much just putting three lines, which I'm actually just going to drop it to two lines. Um, so I'm going to put two lines, and then I'm going to say click here to activate your account. <clears throat> and then I have this link here. Now this right here this needs to be the location of your activate uh, page that we're about to create in the next video or two uh, well in the next video or maybe this one um, so this is the link to your activate page so the user can activate their account and then we want to say code equals and then dollar sign code so that is going to uh, allow people to actually activate their account and then this echo statement we have right here um, right before it, we want to say mail, and then parentheses. Now, inside of our parentheses, this takes four or five variables, or parameters, rather, not variables. Well, it could be variables. They are going to be. Uh, so this takes five parameters. Now, the first one is our to variable, or who we're sending it to, which in this case is the email variable. So whatever email that the user has uh, entered. Now, the next uh, parameter whoops, is the subject so we can just put in our subject variable. And now the next one is the message variable. And then the last one is the headers variable. 
So that just simply sends the email using this information. So it's fairly simple, well, really simple. Um, and now this is where we want to display your nice little success message. Um, now this could be whatever you want, like always. Uh, I'm just going to say, um, thank you for registering. You must now g activate your account through the activation email that has been sent to. And then I'm going to put some bold tags. And then inside of here, I'm going to say email. So, so it's pretty much saying that... Um, thank you for registering. You must now activate your account through the activation email that has been sent to and then the user's email, whatever email they entered. Um, you must activate your account to, uh, to be able to log in. So, yeah. Um, if you are having problems, please contact the site administrator at, and then this is where you want to put um, administrator. Yep. Um, now this is where you want to put a href equals. And then you want to say mail to colon, and then your email, which in my case I'm going to put my admin uh, at basicnick.com email. And then you want to end the A, and then you can go ahead and, t and type in that email again, or whatever you want, I guess. So we'll say admin at basicnick.com. Nick.com. And there we go. Um. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and FTP this file up to test it out, and I'll be right back. Okay, so um, this is the page as it currently was before, well, as it was before, and this is the page as it currently is. So we have the ability to enter all of our information, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to type in um, my info. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and leave, well... Yeah, I don't care. Um, so, type in my info, uh, username, uh, email as, eh, I'll just put this as it for now, which I might end up changing later. Uh, password, I'm going to type in my password, because this is going to be my password for my account. So, uh, for now, I'm not going to choose an avatar. Um, I'm going to put in a web address of HTTP, colon, forward slash, forward slash, www.nickfrosty.com. YouTube username is obviously basic Nick, duh. And bio slash about, I am the website administrator. Actually, I'm just going to leave that blank. So I'm going to click register. And you can see Chrome wants to try to save my password. And, ooh, you can see we have an error here because it's not displaying uh, the rest of our page. So, nah. Hmm. Okay, well, I am going to pause the video, and I'm going to try to figure out where this error is. So, uh, I will be back soon. Okay, so I went ahead and opened up the register page on my local host. And you can see I got this error. I typed in all the same information. And we have an error on line 79. And I went to 79. You can see right there, I spelled that wrong. That should be S-T-R-S-T-R. -S -T -R. So, see from that to that. Big, big spelling error. Um, so hopefully that will fix the problem. Uh, I'm going to pause the video once again and uh, re-FTP it. Okay, so I re-FTP'd the file. And I'm going to refresh the page and resubmit the information. We're still getting an error. I'm going to refresh on my on this page. And okay, well, I'm going to stop this video here. 
Oh, not connecting. Okay, well, I'm going to stop this video here. Um, in the next video, we will uh, hopefully finish up our register script. So, check out the next part of the series.